It's Lynn Forsyth here. Hope everybody's doing well. The question that was posed to the design team was, what's your winter? Snowballs or beach balls? Well, I live in northern New Hampshire, so it is snowballs. In fact, I love fresh fallen snow. There's nothing more magical than that. And like the saying in my um, art journal that I did here, kindness is like snow. It beautifies everything it covers. And that is the honest to God truth. So I took this little trip down memory lane on making snowflakes. I remember doing this as a kid. Okay. Just so you can see. Okay. So just going to do a quick little ditty here. I have my gel press page that I had done. So all I'm going to do here, take this little bowl thing I have, trace around the edges of it. Quick little cut around. Do you remember doing these as a kid? Or did you never have that opportunity? I guess maybe if your winter is beach balls, maybe you didn't do this. So anyways, here it is. Fold it in half. Fold it in half. Fold it in half again. And you can get funky with your folds. I'm just going to keep this pretty simple. No, I think that'll be too thick. All right, so this is when I absolutely and totally love my little Timmy Holt scissors here because um, they're so sharp and even the tips of them are. Now, one thing when you're doing this, you have to remember that you need to leave your folded edges. You can't go and cut down right like that or otherwise, no, your snowflake's going to fall apart. And do you remember in science class them teaching that there are no two snowflakes that are the same? Kind of like our fingerprints. I'm going to do a little cut down here. All right, so here we have it. Pretty simple. Could really get in here and do a whole lot of other things, but anyways, then we open it up slowly. Voila! There you go. <laughs> All right, so you can see actually the shape here. So how cool is that? So now I have all these beautiful shimmery snowflakes. Look at all this. I might actually hang them on my window. But I also use them, I put them in my art journal. And for this, what I did was I just laid them down and then traced around them. And then went in with my paint and painted because I felt that these on here, they would get lost. So I just colored in with my paint. And like I said, kindness is like snow. It beautifies everything it covers. All right, so now I'm going to go off and show you how I created my gel press papers, my poles here. So I hope you've enjoyed my little walk down memory lane here. Now it's off to see how I created my beautiful papers. All righty, see you on the other side. All right, the supplies I used is an eight inch gel press and I have it on a nine by 11 joggles clear acrylic stamp mount. I also have a four inch and a six inch circle um, gel press and I used perfect paints, um, a whole bunch of different colors, kind of wintry, but then I wanted to throw in some of the purples. Um, also, I am going to use Stencil Girl stencils on my gel presses. There's a whole bunch of them that I'm using here. 
I also pulled out a couple foam stamps, which I am madly in love with, and they're so fun to work with. Now, if you know what I do, I love using vintage papers, um, but for this, I wanted them to be white, and a lot of them aren't, so I've made laser copies of some vintage papers that I have, and it also helps to do pulls a little bit better. If they're old, they sometimes crumble and fall apart and don't play nice. Now, one thing that you are going to notice is that when I use my Perfect Paints, I use a lot. And the reason being is these are a translucent type paint. So if you use a really thin layer of them, you're not going to get these nice bold colors. Also the fact that they have an extended open time. So therefore, it's hard to multi-layer colors. So I have a tendency to work in single colors and do my pulls that way um, so that I'm getting the most out of these. And you can see that I'm stamping with some foam stamps. Um, and I'm actually cleaning off my foam stamps over to the side on some papers. And now you're going to see that I'm just going to do pulls. And we're going to go round and round and round using all different colors on my presses. And this is actually, I find to be a very healing um, and peaceful place for me. Right now, the world is not a very peaceful place and I love just going into my studio and pulling out my gel press and just going with the flow. Here you'll see I'm using one of the stencil girl stencils on the six inch plate, round plate. And like I said, I'm just going to continue and continue layering the poles, the colors on top of each other. Ah, did you see how pretty that was? <laughs> and this paint is so shimmery. Now, of course, you can use any paint that you want to. <gasps> see, look at how beautiful that is. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to do a little fast forward. Oh. Look at that one also. Oh my God. I just love this. Like I said, it's a healing, peaceful place for me to be in my art studio playing with my gel press. Okay, so I lied and I told you I wasn't going to say anything else. I was just going to let you watch the creative process. But here you will see that I am laying out my stencil girl stencils onto my eight inch gel press. And I've got my um, little four inch one over there that I'm kind of using as my palette. And I'm just slathering on the Perfect Paints paint and I'm doing my pulls. But you're going to notice here that I'm taking the stencils and I'm placing them on top of blank sheets of paper. Because you know what? You never want to waste your paint. So you're gonna see me, I've now I've located that circle, I'm putting the circle on the circle. We got some cool stuff going on. Ah, and then you get that, which is beautiful. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my brayer over top and see what I'm getting. All of that paint would have been lost had I not done what I had done. So I just wanted to share that little ditty with you.
So we're going to jump right to the polls that I ended up getting because literally this was like a two hour session of me just enjoying my paints going round and round and round on my round gel presses. And they ended up being absolutely beautiful. I did go back in with some white acrylic paint through my stencils just to make some of the stuff pop on some of my more favorite pages that I did. Um, but anyways, this was a beautiful process. I had a fabulous time and I want to thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my gel press video round and round. Have a great day. Be creative. Bye.